Hey everybody, I hope you're having a great day. And we are here with the Toronto Real Estate Board statistics that are just out for June. Uh, another interesting month. We're seeing the same trends continue basically since March. I'll go over all of that. Um, so in a nutshell, what we're seeing is a huge decline in sales volume over this time last year. Um, you know, May and June are typically very busy months. This year in 2022, we've definitely seen a real reduction in the amount of homes moving through the system. So this June, we had 41% less sales than last June. At the same time, what's important to note is that we have had basically the same amount of new listings. So obviously that presents a bit more of a balanced market. Now sales price are still, prices are still up over last year, about 5.3% overall across the board condo segment seems to be doing a little better and I'll talk about that in a second. Uh, but you know, we have seen a decline in price since March. So that's important to note, you know, January, February this year, we're absolutely crazy. March onward, things started to slide a little bit and we're continuing to see that. Um, so let's go over that in detail. We had an average price across the board of 1.146 million. Uh, and again, that's all segments, all areas of the GTA. That is, as I mentioned, 5.3% up from last year. So we're still up, but it is down from May. May was down from April, etc. cetera. Uh, the average price for detached in the city of Toronto was 1.37 million. That represents a 2.4% increase over last year. Uh, and then the average price of a detached in the 905 was 1.36 million, also 2.4% increase over last year. We were seeing far higher increases in the 905 than we were in the 416. So obviously those are sliding a little bit further uh, downward than the 416 at a faster rate. Now, obviously if we continue to see the same type of pattern, we will be in uh, a negative year over year return, you know, in the next couple of months, if that happens. And I don't know if it will. In the meantime, let's talk about condos. Those are doing better. We had the average price of a condo in the 416, 771,000 and change. That's 7.4% from last year. Um, and condos in the 905, actually best segment of all, uh, almost 700,000 to 693,000. And that re represented a 13% increase over last year. So the condo market is definitely doing better right now than the freehold market, which is interesting. So as I mentioned, you know, a lot of factors in play. As we know, we had uh, several interest rate hikes. We do anticipate having another one coming up. Uh, there's a little bit of that. There is, I think, uh, you know, a whole different buyer and seller psychology going on right now. There's a lot of fear in the marketplace, a lot of, you know, recession talk, different things like that. Um, and I think also we have a lot of buyer fatigue. So I think all of these three things are combining what we find uh, the market conditions doing at the moment. So, you know, I still say, I think things are gonna pick up in the fall. Let's see how it goes, September, October. I do anticipate, um, you know, things will turn around a little bit. I'm seeing right now a lot less inventory going on the market. Uh, people are just not putting their homes for sale. And of course, you know, things could switch around where all of a sudden we have not enough inventory and more demand than we have supply. Let's see. So anyway, that's where we're at. If you have any questions, you know how to reach us and uh, feel free with any questions that you have. We'll link the full report below as well. And of course, um, hope you're following us on our podcast as we're going to go over all the stats next week when we do our podcast on Tuesday. That is the Toronto Real Estate Show with Janelle and Leslie. Have a great day and I look forward to seeing you soon. Bye for now.